Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. I'm gonna share three tips for finding your files in SharePoint and OneDrive. We're gonna look at following sites, OneDrive shortcuts, and using some cool keywords with the search bar. This video is a lesson from my SharePoint Champion course. And if you want more detail on that, check the suggested link now or the description below afterwards. So let's get into it with my first tip. Have you ever noticed this star in your SharePoint site? This allows you to follow the site. Following a site is like bookmarking, so it makes it easier to find next time. The more SharePoint sites you use, the harder it becomes to keep track of all the sites you care about. So following sites helps you overcome that problem. To follow a site, you just press the star here. Followed sites then show up on the SharePoint homepage. If I go to the app launcher here and choose SharePoint, I can see all my followed sites. Also, when I open or save a document in apps like Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, followed sites are an option that I can choose from. So for example, when I choose open in Word, I can choose sites, then I can start with the sites I'm following and drill down into them to find the file I'm looking for. Did you know you can add links to folders and libraries in other sites and see them in OneDrive? It's like bookmarking a folder in OneDrive, so folders that you use all the time are just one click away. This makes finding files easier because you can just click on the shortcut and the folder opens up in OneDrive so you don't have to click around lots of SharePoint sites trying to find what you need. To add a shortcut to a folder in OneDrive, go to the SharePoint site that the folder lives in, select it, and then choose Add Shortcut to OneDrive from the toolbar. In OneDrive, you'll see a shortcut to the folder in your My Files list. You can see it has a link icon on it showing you that it's a shortcut and in the sharing column you'll see that the owner is the site name. Clicking on it opens the folder so you can start using the files without leaving OneDrive. The search bar is available everywhere in SharePoint and is your best friend when you want to quickly find your files. Just type in a keyword and off you go. So I've got some fancy keyword combinations that will save you time and it's something that all SharePoint champions should know about. You can use an asterisk or star as a wildcard in search. So when you're typing in your keyword in the search bar and you want to get all the files with a certain string of characters in them, you can put the stars at the beginning or the end of the string. For example, if I want to search all files with the letters CO in them, I can just type CO and then star. You can put quotes around what you type in the search bar to make sure that you only get the files that exactly match the text that you type. Here, if I type coach in quotes, it will only return all files with that exact string in them. Remember, search will look into the title of the file, the content and any properties. Talking of properties, did you know that you can search for files using properties? A property is data about the file, like the author's name, the date it was created, or when it was last modified. You can search for properties in the search bar by typing the property name, in this case, author. I then add a colon to separate them, and then I add the information I'm looking for. In this case, it's Polly. That search will bring me back all the files where Polly is the author. You can join searches together using AND, which is known as an operator. If you put an AND in between the things you're looking for, it will make sure that those keywords are both present in the files that it returns. And you can combine all of these techniques into the same search query. So in this one, I'm using wildcards, operators, properties, and exact matches all at the same time. When you make your search, SharePoint adds all the information to the address bar in your browser. So if you create a complex search that you want to use again another time, you can copy the address from the bar and reuse it by just pasting it into your browser. Okay, so that's some pro tips for finding your files in SharePoint. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.